It is. I mean, I'm a bioengineer, so I like to look at inputs and outputs. And I would say your food, your nutrition, your sleep, your exercise. Oh, we didn't get like, to sleep yet. It's my favorite. These are so important. <laughs> and it's, um, you know, I had a mother who became obsessed in the 1970s with the Del Davis. And like overnight, the Pop-Tarts were cleared out of our house. And she started serving me like this brown bread for my school lunches that was so dense you had to like chew it 30 times and she would make homemade almond butter and put it on no, no one would trade lunches with me like I had the most weird right. lunches right but I'm so grateful because I yeah. think she set me up to have a microbiome that really supports me yeah. and so to your point I think a lot of folks don't know any better you know, they didn't have a mother who was obsessed with Adele Davis. Right. They grew up going to McDonald's, and that was a treat. They're right. eating ultra-processed food because it's hyper-palatable, and yeah. maybe they're addicted to it. 